Where a heat island is just basically an area of an urban environment that is much higher than the surrounding area. We are trying to use modern tools and artificial intelligence and machine learning to kind of predict what the heat islands are in Durham and what's kind of the root cause of them. We're trying to uh, build a model that can predict temperature and uh, after that we want to do kind of causal inference. So uh, if, say, we changed uh, something called vegetation index by like 0.1, what the temperature, what the difference of temperature would be at a particular point so that we, like, we, we get to tell like, policymakers that we need to plant more trees here because it'll have such impact on urban heat island effect, yeah. Given that we understand why urban heat islands occur, uh, can we actually come up with a way to predict uh, interventions to reduce those heat islands? So how can, we, how can we create a visualization, how can we create a model that actually gives us that insight? You know, if we put a green space at this location, does it actually reduce temperature in the surrounding locations. And that, that's really going to enable us to start to look at, okay, how can the city of Durham make changes and de further develop the city to, to make it more comfortable for the next decades? Durham, it actually, um, the hottest area is about 10 degrees Fahrenheit hotter than the coolest area, like maybe in the afternoon. So that's a huge difference, right? There's a huge gap. And uh, especially for underrepresented area, uh, population, we have less vegetation. And so basically policymakers get to know like where, if they are gonna plant more trees, what is the most effective way to do it? And what, which area like it needs that most. From looking at socioeconomic statuses like within Durham, and looking at like the amount of vegetation in each area was that like as you reach the more disadvantaged areas there is a like steady decrease in the amount of vegetation which i think was one of the most like interesting things that like we actually found throughout this project we've we've built this model um and now we're doing the causal inference it's really exciting to see like if we plant more trees in this area we can cool down the temperature